Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be testing out a new ColourPop eyeshadow palette, which I am wearing today. I am super excited about it. I love pink, it's so beautiful. I'm also gonna be testing out a new primer from Smashbox. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure if this primer is actually new, but it's new to me. So we're gonna be testing that out. I'm also testing out the Ooh La La palette from ColourPop, as well as one of their lip that I've not tried in the shade Cami. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. And I'm also gonna be testing out that Ramel blush in the color Sweet Cheeks. So I just wanted to point out, if you are new here and stumbled across my channel, what's up, welcome, I'm Tosh. Love to have a good time and do all things beauty and makeup. We also like to get a little goofy on this channel because we are all about spreading positivity and having a great time. So if you enjoy that kind of thing and it's your thing, go ahead and click that subscribe button and ring the bell notification so that you are notified each time I upload a video, which is three times a week on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. And without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and stop mumbling so that we can go ahead and get into the video. All right, you guys, so as you can tell, my base is already completely on. The brows are done. I've got some contour and bronzer on. And we're gonna go ahead and move into the blush that I'm gonna use, which is also new. This is the Rimmel Maxi Blush in the shade Sweet Cheeks. Remember, I picked these up the other day if you saw my video. The shade is pretty peachy, um, and I'm living for it. <sighs> Again, I will say that Ramal used to make some of the best blushes back in the day. I don't know why they ever stopped, but these are super pigmented, yet you can also build them up. So I'm just going to go in with my Equate blush, well, multi-purpose brush, really. I like to use it for, ooh. Sorry, you guys, I got mesmerized. Gorgeous. I love a good peachy coral blush. Oh, they're just my fave. But you can use this brush for anything. I've used it for setting powder on the go. I've used it for bronzer, blush of course. You guys, that is so pretty. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. You guys know I love my blush. Mm, mm. Ooh, I love a good blush. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move into this palette from um, ColourPop. I ordered like three, I think it was. I've already done the It's My Pleasure. We're gonna go into Ooh La La. And you guys don't mind my attire. I'm just kind of bumming it around the house today. Up in a messy bun with the hairdo, and yeah, I'm living my best life, let me tell you. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some uh, eye brushes. Oops, I just dropped something. And we're gonna go ahead and get into this eye look. Now this is a super pink palette. Not really sure where the look is going. This shade here is kind of like a shimmer shade with pink sparkles and shimmers in it. So I know that you really can't see that one. It's because of the ring light. So I'm kinda, we're gonna see what we get into though. So I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and start off. And I think we're gonna go into the shade called Soft Core. It's this little light pink here. I'm gonna zoom it into the camera. Focus, there we go. It's a lot lighter than what it's picking up on the camera. I apologize for that. Still working around the lighting in here um, really quickly. So it's kind of funny. I have a light here, a light behind me, one here on the floor, so that the light just kind of goes to um, the ring light. And then I don't have a ceiling light up yet. I'm working on getting another one so that the light source is kind of like. But you guys have been pretty cool. And I claim that, you know, the lighting's good, that you're able to see everything. So until that changes, we're good. Oh, where my coffee squad? Where my coffee squad? You guys are so awesome. Seriously, some of the best subscribers that a girl could ask for. Oh, I love you guys. So I'm just gonna put this all over my crease as my transition shade. Already, holy pigmented Batman, like seriously. I'm liking it already. Now I love ColourPop shadows. They're super affordable, they're super pigmented, and yeah. I love these little plastic cases that they came out with for these, you guys, because they also have mirrors in them. Now the cardboard, um, eyeshadow palettes mostly they don't have mirrors now this other one that I have down here the collaboration with I love Sahari 
through my eyes you do get a mirror in this so and it's the same price as their other 20 pan shadow palette so I was like yes ColourPop like they're doing their thing the only thing is is I don't know if you guys can tell like everybody is just overloading us all with so much new makeup it's like could you slow down so that I could actually enjoy you know some of the products that I have it's it's just too fast it's too much too fast I mean I love playing with it all but holy crap so this doesn't need to be perfect it can be messy because we're gonna go in and obviously add some more shades on top and I'm just gonna take one of these a little kind of domed pencil-y brushes if you can see that doesn't look like you can there we go and I'm gonna go in deeper into the crease with the shade oh my god you guys it's called poodle <laughs> I love that it's kind of a joke between me and my fiance. We're always calling our dog Poodle. And what it is, is if you guys have ever seen the movie, um, don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. I know, totally ghetto. But that's what it's from. He's like, yo, dog, hold my Poodle. <laughs> Just makes me laugh. That is super pretty in the crease. We're going to bring that up a little bit. Both eyes here. Now I'm just going to take that same blending brush and just kind of buff a little bit of this out. See what we're working with. Because I'd really like to use as many of these shades in the palette as I can. So far you guys, I'm liking it. But then again, if you know me, you know my favorite colors are pink, of course, and black. Actually, my studio is supposed to be black. Pink and black, I mean. So one of these days, we're going to get it painted soon. Just right now, not a good time. But I can't wait. I have a girlfriend out in Texas. Her office was pink and black, and that's kind of where I got the inspiration from. It was just so gorgeous. Norma, if you're watching, hi, babe. All right, you guys, so I'm going to take... One, this darker pink right here. Now this does have a little bit of shimmer in it. This is called Opulent, Opulent. Come on camera, focus. Okay, good enough. So I'm gonna take that into the crease. Now, like I said, it does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but kind of looks more satiny. Cause I really wanna use like this opalescent shade that you guys couldn't hardly see called Tickled. Ooh, this is pretty, oh my God. Now I kind of want to use this on the lid. It's so pretty. Oops. Switch. You guys, I apologize for that. I think I'm starting to get sick. And I think Nick is too. Not fun. Right, now we're going to go in and blend her out just a little bit. We got some harsh lines going on, which is never cute. You guys can tell I did go down on the lid a little bit, and I did that on purpose. I'm going to kind of buff it out here. God, this is so pretty. I think I'm going to take a little bit of that shade that I started off with and kind of go up here and kind of just distribute it so that it makes those edges a little bit softer because I was kind of going for a softer look than what I'm getting. I just, I got excited and I went a little crazy. <laughs> These are super powdery to you guys. I have a lot of kick up in this pan. I'm going to zoom it up so you guys can see. Focus, baby. There we go. You guys can see that. <sighs> ColourPop does have a lot of kick up, but you guys, the pigment is there. If you have ever tried them, you know what I mean. And I just, I love ColourPop. 
Okay, this is getting out of hand super fast. <laughs> I think I'm going to go into another palette. Um, and right here in this like area in the brow up, I'm going to lighten it. Don't get me wrong, I'm living for the pink ladies, but I got a little cray cray. Actually, I think I'm just going to take some face powder and I'm cheating a little bit. So there's kind of a little trick if you mess up and you go up too far, just take your face powder and a blending brush and just go in there and lighten it up a little bit. Might not show on camera how much it's helping, but it's doing an amazing job. I'm actually going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone with the shade Moonstruck, which is, I'm just going to pull right here. That should help a lot since I did mess up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Come on, Moonstruck. Oh my god, can you guys see that? It's like perfection. Oh, so pretty. I'm just going to take a brush and just kind of buff that in a little bit. I don't like it to look like I just put a stripe on my brow. <laughs> Even though that's what it looks like when you highlight your brows sometimes. So this palette, I believe, I believe was $12 if you look in my description box as always I will have the prices because it's really hard to remember them all when you're working with a lot of new products and stuff like that um, so it's super affordable you got nine shades and you get the hard case like I said and a nice mirror so it's perfect for travel ooh this pink though Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm shook right now. I can't believe how pigmented these pinks are. Whew. Now, this is not exactly an everyday wearable look, but y'all know me. I love the fact that I've gotten into color lately, and I've, I've been wearing a lot more color than I have anything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the shade um, Trove right here, this kind of dark, pinky purple I'm gonna slap that into the outer corner and then we are gonna get into the um, lid shade <laughs> so when you apply this to the lid it's actually showing up a little more dark fuchsia maybe than it is the purpley shade in the pan which I like because it goes with this a lot better going on over here I look like I'm ready to go to a party Okay, you guys, so I'm not going to do a cut crease just because, in honesty, I suck at cut creases. But I'm going to add just a smidge of um, eyeshadow primer on my lids just so that opalescent shade really pops like I'm wanting it to. I'm going to try to find two flat brushes to achieve that with. And I'm just going in with this little cheapy brush um, from Love and Beauty. I think these are sold at TJ Maxx. What I'm doing is I'm going almost all the way up on the lid 
I don't want to go up too far because when I look up, I tend to get shimmer on my crease and that drives me absolutely insane. All right, and now I'm gonna take another flat brush. I need to get rid of some of these brushes off my filming table. These are all eye brushes. And I have a secret, I just ordered some more. <laughs> but in my defense, the reason that I did that, I'm just gonna spray this like I do all my shimmers. The reason I did that, you guys, is because I have so many that need to be decluttered that it's just ridiculous. So I'm gonna try this out with a brush first. If it, I don't get the intensity I want, I'm gonna use my finger. have to however I may have to build <sighs> so I did forget to put down my powder so I have quite a bit of fallout here We'll fix it here in a little bit. Not a big deal right now. So I've already gotten some of that color on my crease a little bit. Just see is what it is, ladies. It happens. It's not a huge deal. Like if you're going out for the night or whatever, um, which <laughs> I really don't do, my going out days are far long gone. I'm like an old lady now. But if you're going out for the night, you're not gonna see that anyways, most likely wherever you're going, um, if you're going to the club, if you're going to the bar, whatever, it's gonna be dark. So they're not gonna be able to see right there anyways. So you're all good, I got you. I'm just gonna go back in with another brush in my crease here with a mix of uh, Soft Core and Poodle, which is those two um, lighter shades here. I know you couldn't see that, but I will link them below, as always. And then, because there's so much fallout with these, you guys, I am gonna have to go back over just a little bit in my lid, so bear with me. Um, we will get there, though. So far, I like it. I mean, it's a lot of pink. It is, but uh, I'm living. Living, living. So what I'm gonna do on the lower lash line is I'm gonna dip into Poodle, which is that second pink that we put in the crease. We're gonna try not to make my eyes water. <laughs> We're gonna buff it out a little bit. Then we're gonna go into the shade Trove, which is that darker purple here. That is the one that, or well, purpley pink that we put on the outer V. And then, very carefully, I'm gonna take a very fine brush. This one looks dirty, it's just stained from doing my eyebrows. But I'm gonna dip this into the shade Caddy, which is this dark purple here, very carefully, so this might take a minute. And I'm gonna try to get this into my waterline as best as I can. Okay, well, it's going on my lash line, so we'll put a purple eyeliner in my waterline. 
because I really don't want to irritate my eyes right now. This looks pretty. All right, give me just a moment to grab a purple liner. We're gonna use this a lovely creamy waterproof one that I love by Physicians Formula. There's the tip of it. My eyes are trying to water. <laughs> Alright, so because my eyes are being my eyes, like they always are, I'm just going to quit um, messing with the liner. I got it, you know, pretty much on the lower lash line, which is what I was going for. So I think what I'm going to do next is we're going to go into some highlight, which I don't believe I have a new highlighter right now. Um, so I'm just going to grab the closest one to me, which is the Cila. Ciate London Moon Dust. And I did use this in a previous video, you guys, so I do apologize. Um, I was going to film yesterday, but then I just couldn't, so I had that one sitting here. It's beautiful anyways. Oh, it's so beautiful. And I think, you know, since the eyes are a little out there, I think it just kind of goes with it. Now that we are shining to the heavens above. That came from a song. I don't know what song it is. I do have, though, a bunch of ColourPop lippies still here to try out. And I think that before we finish the eyes, I'm going to go into the shade Lucky Strike. Focus. There we go. And I don't know if you guys have ever tried ColourPop lipsticks, but these are absolutely beautiful. I swatched mine, so it's going to look a little, uh, but look how beautiful that is. They have the shapes of the stars on there. Do you see that for me swatching it? <laughs> I just swatched it before this video. So the closest lip liner that I have to me is one of my favorites. It's by LA Colors. It is in the shade Natural. So I'm going to um, dab my lip treatment off and line my lips and then we're going to apply that lipstick I hope I said it was one of my favorite lip liners it's not my absolute favorite my absolute favorite is by Jordana and it is their Rock and Rose lip liner. That one I can rock with almost anything. Hmm. I like the color. I just don't know if I like it with this look. Hmm. Like right off the bat I don't feel like this is as pigmented as say their lippy sticks. This is the Velvet Blur Lipstick. I never tried the original version of these lipsticks. Um, so I do like it. I just need something a little more opaque for this look. So I'm going to go into these. And then I also have this larger one here. And I think that's it for ColourPop. So let's see what we got here. We got some pinks and some browns. A lot of these look pretty nude. Um, I did swatch this one earlier. It's a very pretty. It's kind of like a brown pinky nude, so I mean, we'll just see. If I gotta swatch them all on my lips, I will. Alrighty, let's go into the shade Ziggy. I've been wanting to try Ziggy for quite a while now. Hmm. Ziggy's a little dark for this look, so I'm gonna wipe Ziggy off, but I do like the color. I really do. Oops, look at that. Have you guys watched that video yet where I had lipstick? Like, 
And it's so funny because Nick edited the video and I go downstairs to check it out. I'm going in with the shade Cami to see what that looks like. Um, and he hadn't edited it out or said anything to me and I was like, babe, look at my lipstick. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't notice. I'm like, you men are so cute. And he probably really didn't notice because he's so cute, you guys. Like, if I have, like, not to be gross, but, like, an eye booger or makeup, you know, anything, he'll tell me. He'll say, hold still. I love that. If you guys haven't tried their lippy sticks, oh, my God, the formula is so creamy. And look how opaque they are. Actually, I'm liking this one. This is in the shade... Cami and it's matte but just because I have been so into lip gloss lately I think I'm just gonna apply a clear lip gloss over it um, because I've been putting lip gloss on everything lately and I really think it's because I like matte lipstick in the summer months which is weird because for a lot of people it's reverse um, gosh Tiki my one dog just stepped on my other dog <laughs> anyways I like a lot of uh, matte lipstick in the summertime just because I don't want to have to worry about reapplying things on my lips all day and then in the winter because my lips are dry I like to use lip gloss over everything oh my babies they're so cute oh yeah that's what I was looking for for sure much better and so this is rubbed off you guys but all this is is um cover girl or not cover girl i'm thinking of cover girl because they have a new line out um la girl has what they call high shine lip gloss and it has like shea butter in it and just really good stuff for your lips so this is the clear bottle that they have it's two dollars um you can find these at family dollar dollar general um and as far as dollar stores that's it um, and I believe they also sell these on their website. Again, they're $2, and it is my favorite clear gloss from the drugstore. Had to do the finger test. Um, so, yeah, I think... Oh, we haven't done mascara yet. Look at me trying to run from y'all. Just going to go back in with, no surprise, my favorite of the moment, the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. They do have a new line out that I want to know personally from as many of you as, you know, can... Let me know. Um, and it, what it is, is basically it is a line geared towards women of color. Um, and if you guys don't know, I am mixed with black and white. So, um, in the summertime, I got super, super tan. So, I was wondering if you guys are interested in me trying that line out or if there's something else that you guys want me to test out. There's so many new products um, coming out at the drugstore right now. It's just crazy. And so um, I did just place an order with BH Cosmetics and I'm trying to think of who else. The only thing that's coming to mind right now is BH Cosmetics. So I did purchase um, a couple of their new palettes and then, you know, just enough stuff to do a video for you guys. I don't want to give it all away yet. But. I need to know what else you guys want to see. Like, is there items at the drugstore you want me to pick up? Is there a high-end item that you've been thinking about? I mean, if I can't swing it right now, I'll let you know. But, um, yeah, give me your feedback. All right, you guys, I think that is all for this video. Um, I think what I'm going to do, just to make it a little bit longer for you guys, because this was kind of a short one. I had my base and everything done. You guys, again, I apologize for my voice. I'm getting sick, and it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it right now. I'm so, so sorry. I know I'm over here sounding like Marge Simpson. This is the second time I've tried to run from y'all without finishing my full face. 
So I am still living for and loving the Physician's Formula um, Rose All Stay Illuminating Setting Spray and also the Physician's Formula The Healthy Powder. You guys, if you have super dry skin, pick these both up. Physician's Formula is killing it at the drugstore right now. And this healthy powder gives you, it's so creamy. It's so finely milled and it's just absolutely beautiful. And these two together give you like youthful, dewy looking skin. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell that my skin's pretty youthful. Well, I wouldn't say youthful. <laughs> to chow on home, beep, beep. <laughs> but I do feel like it is glowing. So, and that is from those two products. Oh, and it smells so, so, so good. It smells so good. All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. Here is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video of watching me play with pink on pink on pink. <laughs> Feeling so goofy today, you guys. The weather is just totally, like, I don't know if it's freezing my brain or what. So, if you are new here, what is up? My name is Tasha, and I do these crazy goofy videos three times a week on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, and I hope that you will come back and join us for yet another video. So, I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and get out of here. I do wanna say you guys are, have been, you guys have been the best subscribers that a girl could ask for. You guys are so positive and giving me constructive criticism and feedback, and I cannot appreciate you and thank you enough for that. Thank you. Also want to thank you guys, as always, as always, for real, like for serious, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, because you guys take the time out of your busy days to spend time with me watching my videos, and you guys have no idea how much that means to me. It means the world. I'm not going to get all teary-eyed on cam cam, because we don't want to ruin this glam glam look, even though I'm going nowhere. Probably going to wipe it off and film another video, actually. So within the 10 minutes that I was off camera, I did decide we're going to go ahead and leave the check-ins for this palette. And the reason is, is that this is actually just, I'm not going to say just a ColourPop palette, but it's a ColourPop palette. But this is a ColourPop palette that is a collaboration. And I want to see if their formulas are different, if they last longer, if they don't last as long. Like, what are we paying for? Are we paying for the name? Are we paying for the product? Not gonna do check-ins on this one. I hope you guys are not disappointed. Look at that face. So, anyways, you guys, again, I will see you in my next video. I hope that you are having an amazing, amazing day wherever you are. If you are anywhere in these states, such as the Midwest, like I am, or if you are in any of the other uh, surrounding states that are getting this bad weather, please, please use your noggins. Stay safe. If you don't have to go out, don't don't it is going to be so cold and yeah i just want you guys to be safe so i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much again for watching and i love you guys so much bye